I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters we're going to compare the frame rate of three different Second Life clients to see how fast each one is. Uh, frame rate actually shows you how many frames per second are updating on a video game and by knowing how many frames per second it's updating you can tell how quickly the program is responding. The faster the frame rate, the faster it responds. So we're going to compare three different Second Life viewers today. The official Second Life viewer, Firestorm, the most popular third-party viewer, and a viewer called Singularity, which is supposed to be one of the faster third-party viewers for Second Life. Uh, you have to remember there are some variables in these tests that we need to compensate for. For instance, if the internet connection goes up or down during this uh, test, we may get some inaccuracies in the testing. But I've done this a couple of times before, so I'll tell you how the tests in this video compare to my previous tests. The other thing is, there are different settings you can put on each one of these viewers on the graphics card, like what it renders, uh, how well it renders it, what quality the graphics are. And so uh, we'll go a little bit through that as well, but there may be some variables with each of these programs, how they set the defaults on their graphics, uh, which could speed some of them up uh, just by setting some of those graphic things. So, so that's uh, another variable that we're gonna try to account for. Uh, third variable is if you have other programs running while you have Second Life, that's going to slow down the frame rate as well. And we are running this version of Second Life with a program called XSplit to capture the screen. And it's actually slowing down the frame rate on Second Life a bit. And so if we were running this same test without the uh, XSplit, which we need to capture the test, uh, Second Life will actually run faster. So uh, those are some variables. Uh, so you can do the tests yourself and s see what you find on your own computer, but try to do them consistently. All right, the first thing we're going to do is hit Control Shift One, and that will bring up the t statistics window on each one of these programs, and it has a frame rate at the top. And the frame rate on this one, the FPS frames per second, is running about 11, uh, 10 or 11 frames per second on Second Life. Now if we go over here and we look at uh, preferences and we go to graphics, you'll see this is the default that Second Life is is set on to as far as their browser goes and it's in between uh, middle and high uh, quality for the uh, graphics. Now if we go down here to advanced, it shows all of the different um, aspects that make that up, like uh, how, what the draw distance is, like how far it's drawing uh, away from you, and that affects what you can see in the distance. Uh, the farther you can see into the distance, the slower the, f the frame rate will be, or it can affect that, uh, depending on how much farther you put it into the distance. So there are a lot of different um, settings like that that you, that you can change within these. So, but we're going to be using the default settings right here to make it less confusing. Uh, you can go back and actually set them to middle and to high and uh, see how that affects the frame rate. Uh, but we're going to just keep it on the default. And right here it's uh, running 10 or 11 seconds still, or 10 or 11 frames per second still. So now we'll go on to the next browser, which is Firestorm. All right, this is Firestorm. Uh, the Second Life viewer that we were running was version 3.6 of the official viewer, which is the latest as of the filming of this video. This is version 4.4 of Firestorm, which is the latest version of this viewer as of the filming of this video. And the official version of the Second Life client was running at about 10 or 11 frames per second. Firestorm is running 15 to 16 frames per second. Now if we go back up here real quick to where preferences are, 
Well, we have it set on high, so let's set it in between the two. And that's that's the medium setting. That would be the default setting for this browser. And we're getting about 16 or 17 frames per second, so it's a little bit faster. So the quality is a little bit less. We've pulled it down from high into the middle, which is the default setting for uh, Phoenix and for the Second Life browser. Now, some of these variables, as I said, may be slightly different. But still, we're getting, uh, well, now we're getting about 18 frames, 17 to 18 frames. So it's a, uh, it's a bit faster than the actual official version of the Second Life client. So now let's move on to Singularity and see what the difference is with that browser. This is version 1.8 of Singularity, which is the latest version as of the filming of this video. Singularity is based on the original uh, version 1 client of Second Life, and it has the same interface as that client, uh, but it updates other features on that client while keeping the same interface. It's also supposed to be one of the faster uh, viewers for Second Life, and uh, every time I test it, it seems to be. Right now, we're running about 24 frames per second. Uh, it's compared with 17 frames per second with Firestorm and 11 frames per second with the official version of the client. So it seems to be significantly faster. Remember, we're running XSplit, so this would actually be running much faster uh, if I weren't running XSplit. So we'd be getting up to 40 to 60 frames per second, for example, without XSplit. Uh, the other viewers will go up a little faster as well, but they might only go up as much as 50% faster. So this, the um, original version of the client might be running 20. The Firestorm client might be running about 25, and Singularity might be running anywhere from 40 to 50 frames per second. Uh, so any number of things can affect the frame rate, including the sim you're on, uh, if there are a lot of people on the sim, your internet connection, which can actually slow down at times, and what else you're running on your computer, as well as how you have your graphics set on your client, like how detailed the graphics are, uh, and how far into the distance it draws. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Second Life.